Pittsburgh Regional Championships is this weekend. It is Friday morning and we're going to the airport. It's kind of a cloudy day. I think the weather is gonna be okay in Pittsburgh. Hopefully, I don't know. Evie's gonna miss me. I'll miss you too. I'll miss you too, bye bye. So plane is boarding right now. I took a $700 voucher to take a later flight. They said they'll put me on if the plane hits capacity, which they think it will. Anxiously waiting now if the plane will fill up and I'm taking this flight, or I'm doing something else for the next six, seven hours. All right, I'm confirmed on the later flight. I don't get that last minute testing, but I think I have my list locked in already, so. But interesting start to the day. All right, so it is now 3.22. I've just been chilling here. I got a lunch voucher, so I use that, so that's fun. I don't really have a whole lot of time to go over my deck, uh, but it's it's Chin Power, like what do you expect? <laughs> it has three skaters park in it. I have a 303 line and four rare candy, also running 202 Pidgeot. Just wanna have as much consistency as possible going into this. Uh, tournament where I don't really know what everyone's gonna play. But yeah, it's about time I re-head to my flight. <laughs> so yeah, I also have to check in tomorrow morning because I wasn't able to check in today. So it's going to be uh, an early morning tomorrow. Also, the mat is Chin Pao, so that's super exciting. Hopefully I can still get it. Hopefully they won't run out. Hopefully I can get a top eight or champion mat, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, let's head over, I guess, take two. So anyways, today. I spent the whole day going on flights and I'm tired. Just so what do people want to hear? 21. <laughs> 21? Bruh. Bruh. I didn't, no, that was my, no, I almost like broke the mirror. Sheesh. All right, this is, this is a, this is a stash. No leaks. No leaks. It's, it's a uh, judge path. No, it's, it's not. A, it's more than that. It's, no, it's not. There's no way to I on you. But I top deck. It's just broken. It's just a deck. It's a deck that's gonna beat everything. I wanna go to bed as one in the morning and Noah's play testing every single deck. Look at, look at, look how fun and interactive. And yeah. I, <laughs> look at that fun. Yeah. He's, hey, watch, watch, he's, watch, watch, he's yeah. a Snorlax in an Archeops in another Archeops. Um, All right, guys, we're going to bed. So fucking stupid. Put, keep that. All right, guys, we're going to bed. It is, You're the one who I'm so tired. Bad. I'm so tired. No, I didn't want to do this part. All right, guys, see you tomorrow. I'm playing Chim Poopy with Cynthia's Ambition. Rise and shot in gamers. We are gonna get coffee and give our friend his cards because he doesn't play the game. So yeah, we didn't change a card in our deck list. Noah kept saying that Cynthia's Ambition was a dead card. So I guess I'm only playing 59 cards today. So we'll see how that works out. I heard this sounder was really nice. Yo, -ho! yo, can they do? Can they like do all like the the production effects that they do at NAIC? You know how they, they like bumped up the world. I had five rare candy in my deck. I counted it, and it was 61 cards. <laughs> I was playing with five rare candy. We're good now. We're good now. Dub. We got it. We got it. All right. We are 0-1 to the coin flip matchup. I lost a flip against Lugia. I started, uh, game one, I started Fridge Vax, so which was fine. I was skewing him off the prize, 2-2-2, two, 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 but I, I didn't have enough energy to boss kill Luminion. He started with a Dawn Joiner, and so I didn't want to, I didn't want to touch it, but I like, I just needed to if I wanted to do anything. Um, it was also getting rid of a single strike energy. The gift is just tough. Um, I don't think it mattered a ton. Uh, I was hoping that his deck just wouldn't do anything, but I was mistaken, and it drew cards. So, yeah, game two, I just won because I went first. And then game three, he won. I started POW, uh, and I couldn't rope out of it. I thought his hand was dead. Uh, he just attached pass, but, you know, Lugia just has it. I guess his deck is pretty consistent, so, oops. Uh, so, starting off 0-1, not ideal. All good, I guess. Just, just try to win coin flips. I mean, my bad. <laughs> All right, so round two, I played against Gardevoir, and I'm always under the impression that that matchup is a little iffy, but I actually just just won two games. I mean, so game one, I win the flip, just have a really good start. So if you have a good start against Guardi, I feel like it's just good all around. 
And game two, I uh, he prized Manaphy, but I couldn't respond with the Greninja right away. So a little scary, but not really because he went retreat memory skip and I couldn't guarantee the Greninja. So I just went retreat and just killed the Ralts with uh, one Shin Pao. Um, but that line was fine because it's like you have to bench Ralts eventually, right? And so he did that. Um, I owned me the three. I didn't have the Pidgeot out, but I just, I had, I just started, I just eared out and then you just scooped. <laughs> Game one, I got out Pidgey. And I was like, I could get punished if he Iono's me out of a fridge box. And then uh, Chris Celia is the next turn. I actually noticed that both of my Pidgeot were prized uh, when I was doing a deck search. I was just like, all right, let's make sure it's in there. I had so many opportunities to play it, but I actually just didn't need it. Like, you don't really need to counter Iono like that. You usually get what you want, but it is just always nice to have. And of course, we're getting that Cancel the Clone or boss's orders. So yeah, 1-1 one, one right now. I uh, need to win five. So let's see. So far, we've played against Lugia and Gardevoir. So I haven't hit a Maridon or Intel Urshi yet. Uh, I've been told Maridon is just so popular. If it, they're all 2-0, then I'll avoid them. So <laughs> hopefully, uh, I won't hit any of them. I just hit Kevin Baxter who uh, I know from back in the day. Uh, he's just done really well at pretty much everything. Uh, so guy knows his stuff. I won the coin flip, uh, which already I'm like, great. I uh, had a decent, a uh, pretty good starting hand. And so I won game one pretty easily. At game two, I just had absolutely nothing and uh, bricked. And game three was really interesting. So what ended up happening is I didn't have enough Oh, I started uh, Frigivax Pidgey, and I didn't quite have enough to kill the Alugia V in the active, even though I went first. I was one energy short. I intentionally, like, I didn't get backs. I didn't have Eardust, something. I attacked with the Pidgey out, right? So I do 120 to this, this Lugia V. Uh, he evolves, uh, of course has boss on my only Frigivax. And so I'm here without a backside, and obviously without a uh, Chin Pao out. And so, I need to decide what to do, and my opponent actually benched a Pumpkaboo to bump the Mesagoza so I couldn't use it. So I saw a line open where I could theoretically Greninja for three prizes, um, and he got the boss kill on the back, so he was on the odd, he was on the odd prize train. And he actually bench locked himself too, because that Pumpkaboo, he didn't have anything else, he, so he couldn't bench a Tyranitar, which was massive. So I said, I'll leave, this, I'll leave these guys on the board, and... I will prepare for the Greninja. So what did I do? I used Blustery Wind again, fresh Pidgeot. There's no way that he can kill it because uh, he's bench lock out of the T-Tar. Obviously he could collapse and then bump it to get T-Tar next turn, but he couldn't T-Tar that turn, uh, which, was, which was crucial because that means that he would need to hit into a Pidgeot without killing it. So I was able to get 120. He hit in the Pidgeot without killing it. Then I had the setup. I could have greninja for three. So I think he Ionoed me and with the collapse, I should have greninja the turn after I hit the second Pidgeot, but I didn't. So I boss killed Archeops so he couldn't immediately get the Tyranitar powered up. It worked. I mean, he only got the two energies. So he got out T-Tar with the collapse. So then I had the three prize play open. So I went for that while getting a second Baxcalibur, pretty much everything I needed. I set it up so I put four energies on, uh, oh, he also whiffed uh, kill on uh, the Chin Pao, which wasn't ex extremely relevant because I had the advantage. He whiffed the kill, so he had 200. So I, I put four energies on the bench Chin Pao. Uh, if, he, if he boss, I had Pidgeot for Irida. And if he Ionoed, I would just send up the Pao. So of course, him being the amazing player he is, he knew both of these things. And so he uh, retreated in Serena Pass, but uh, I had boss's orders on one. So it was just an insane game three. Uh, but yeah, super good series overall. And uh, so yeah, now we're 2-1, I guess, headed into round four. All right, so a bit of a weird one. Uh, round four is against Zard. Game one, I um, I had like nothing. And I went for the Chin Pao kill on Entei, uh, which was incorrect because then he just goes Zard return, right? But if I would have just, I could have gone for the Greninja and if I whiffed, it wouldn't matter, right? Because then he can't kill the Chin Pao. Uh, so that was my game one. And then game two, I um I just I just won because Zard can't kill my guy. And then game three, yeah, I don't know where his Manaphy was, but game three I playing uh hit no Manaphy starting off and I couldn't get the Greninja. I just kept bossing the Charmanders and um I killed one Charizard, he had no Charmanders, and then I just boss killed one of them. So lack of food and um tired. 
So kind of played a little suboptimally, but we still got there. So three and one going into round five. All right, so we hit another Zard. I don't know why I keep hitting Zard at uh, top tables. Kind of wasn't even close. He didn't really get a setup, and I went uh, Chimpao go Kabumi. My game one hand was a little rough, but I like top decked into, I think Irida eventually. I had Iono, but I just did not want to give him uh, a new hand. So that makes me four and one, which means I need to win two more games, and then I am I guess set for day two. So that is awesome. This view is awesome. I gotta show you all the view. And yeah, apparently the metagame here is a lot of Lost Box, a lot of Lost Tina. I'm pretty okay to see both of those. I'm still running that Canceling Cologne so I can get advantage uh, into Lost Box. Also, I've had a lot of you come up to me during the tournament. Yeah, no, if you just see me around, like you can totally just come up and say hi, what's up. No lunch break is a little tough, but we got some tendies. We got some chicken tendies. Uh, we got some water. So, you know what I'm saying? We are ready to go. Uh, we take wins, we take losses, as long as we have some good games. So, yeah, let's get it. All right, so that was a pretty devastating uh, series. Uh, so I played against Lost Tina, which is not that bad of a matchup for me. I usually just have to like prepare for the Rock Santa and you know, and I'm fine. I gave him two mulligans game two. He opted to go second. I uh, I don't know. I think he only ran one path because he only like passed me once. He ran Artisan as the stadium, uh, which was kind of powerful, but yeah, I don't know. I did everything perfectly. I uh, I made one misplay where I uh, I should have gotten a um, POW instead of a Frigibax. So I could have sent it up and uh, chill. I ended up getting the KO that turn anyways because I concealed cards in the mess ball, like never punished, I guess. Yeah, so I, I won game one, so I have a double battle pass. Game two, I had nothing. Game three, I had three Iridas, an Iono and a boss, and I think an SCR and Fridgeback. That was my opening hand. And then I drew into like a water, and I'm like, great. So my opening hand was absolute garbage. I was ready to get donked and lose immediately. I tried to play to my out, so... And um, he ended up having the Roxanne at the very end. Even though he lost zone one, I was hoping he didn't have it. That last game when I had all the supporters in my hand, I had two rare candy and two ultra ball into prizes. His opening hands are disgusting. And he didn't even run path. So I'm like, I don't know. It's just so easy to set up checkmate with Tina and you can't really set up the Pidgey without the battle VIP pass, which just kind of sucks. The only battle pass I was able to get was in game one, I started two of them. So yeah, it's unfortunate, um, as I probably consider it to be one of my favorable matchups, but uh, my opponent didn't miss a beat. He played it perfectly. So did I, I guess, but I just, my hands just did not uh, be where I wanted to be. So we both know what we were doing. We played our cards and, uh, and he came out on top. So it was an exhilarating series. So yeah, uh, I guess now I'm going into round seven. Uh, at four and two, so we'll just see what happens. All right, so I won uh, my last round. I played against Victor. So I go into the match, he starts Luminion. I'm not too sure what he's playing. I'm like, eh, it's probably Rapid Strike, but I don't know. I go first, I have a pretty good start. Uh, I get uh, Rare Candy Pidgeot, turn two, uh, which is super strong because they can't Metacham Rapid Flow. Uh, the guy, little guy, because there's no little guys, right? I, I just, I take him off my board. In my head, I was like, all right, well, why don't I just kind of keep a single back Scalibur and I quickly realized that it is not the smartest idea because they can just eventually kill with Urshifu, right? And it doesn't even take them that long. They just need like some double gunners and then they can definitely do that. So yeah, what I ended up doing was I had, um, I, I just I just blew up things turn one or game one. Uh, in game two, I went second, he slaughtered me. It was just, it was bad. He just got all of his double gunners. And uh, so yeah, it just kind of got absolutely bodied uh, game two. Um, nothing really I could do about it either. My hand was like not the best. Uh, game three, I start Shin Pao, Shiver Chill, Attach, Pass. Like that, that is my turn. That's my entire turn. Uh, he has like a good turn. He's like battle, pass, he's vibing. He goes blah, 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 research. And like my man is like playing cards. And then he goes pass and I go, all right. I top deck, I think, I think I top deck Frigibax. And then I had a boss in my hand. So I attached a second energy and I went boss, uh, kill Remoraid for one. He researched away the artillery. So I was like, great. I'm slowing him down a little bit. And, uh, and we're feeling good. Then, uh, yeah, he, I think he whiffed the attack because he didn't have artillery. So eventually I remember it. It doesn't have an attack, doesn't have artillery. I don't really have anything either. So I go, so he goes pass, right? And then I go top deck Irida. 
So I top deck Irida. Uh, I Irida, I had a Bax in the hand. So I Irida for Rare Candy and uh, Greninja. And I bench Greninja, use concealed cards, take two prizes off the active, and I'm feeling really good. Like, because all I need to do is kill one V Max and I win the game. Uh, he goes like retreat in the Remoraid and uses like Razor Fin or. <laughs> He just, he just did, his, he showed me after his hand was like all one of supporters. But then uh, yeah, next turn I drew, I concealed cards into boss's orders. I played the SCR in my hand, boss's Urshu movie max for the game. So uh, insane series against insane player. Um, I've heard many things about Victor, but never actually played uh, against him. So it was super nice, super awesome to play against uh, a player high caliber such as himself and just super exhilarating series overall. Uh, so we are five and two. I need to win one more, and then I can ID the next round. So, fingers crossed it's a Charizard or something. I don't know. I, I hope I hit something easier and, uh, and don't get bodied by the, uh, by the uh, dead draw matchup. We are unfortunately out of contention for day two. I played against Grant Manley. It's actually our second match in a row. I played against him uh, at NAIC and beat him playing Jit Pao, he was on Guardi, and uh, he's playing Mew Pao, and uh, it's it's unfavorable, but I'm like, we can still get there, right? Opening hand, garbage. Uh, he just double battle pass. I kind of threw, because I didn't bench Manaphy, sounds a little dumb, but he had Psychic Leap Rope uh, on my only fridge max, uh, but he, he just told me, he's like, he's like, I am mellow at anyways. I, it didn't matter, my hand was like all waters and boss and retrievals. And then game two, yeah, it was like same thing. There were playable cards. He got the fast kill on the fridge vax. Uh, he sped got the boss. I think he flipped for Cramorant five times. He flipped four heads. And I'm sitting there with like my hand with like boss's orders, the most objectively dead card in the whole matchup. Just like, what do I do? I need to uh, get him into, because he needed like two tabs. He had a lot of cards in his hand. He couldn't Genesec. He still had like 20 cards in his Attack. So I take a big knockout on the Mew. Uh, and then he just shows me the two tablets. He didn't even need to dig for it. I'm like, okay, bro, just have this. So unfortunately, yeah, again, like I said, we're out of contention for day two. We are now five and three. I think I'll just try to ID the last round for points, but I'll, I'll talk around and see if that's the right thing to do. But the run is over at the end of next round. Unfortunately, Chen Pao just had a little bit too many, a little too many bricky hands. We did not get there, unfortunately. So, bummed out for sure. But um, we're at five and three, so we can still get points. Still pretty happy with how I did. Oh, I did use Cynthia's Ambition. I needed to, and I used it, and I got what I wanted, but I got nothing else. So I didn't even get a fridge of Axe. It's rough. Let's just see what happens next round, see how many points I can get, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So basically, uh, my round nine, he said, do you want ID for five, three, one? And I said, Said, no. And then <laughs> and I played it out. He was on Tina, lost Tina. Yeah, my game one was as expected. He lost on the uh, lost on the path, played a path. I got path bump. I think I had about Pidgeot. I just killed stuff with uh, the poopy pow. Game two, I started Greninja, drew, pass. And uh, and I was like, ah, oh, this deck this deck doesn't do anything. I'll have a few turns. I went flower selecting, flower selecting, pass. And uh, I was like, all right. I drew in the uh, water and I irritated for pow, whatever. And I just kept going and going. I eventually checkmated him until I, like out of every possible out. But we ended six and three. Not bad, but not day two. So garbage. We'll get him next time though. So I guess that marks the end of the official tournament. Taco. All right, so yeah, we went six and three. It was fun. I uh, got to meet a bunch of you. Uh, which is super cool. Yeah, a couple friends made day two, uh, so that's awesome. I'm gonna be cheering them on tomorrow. But yeah, no, fun, fun time, fun regionals. Enjoy playing the games. I played against like three super well-known players. I'll have a video on the specific deck and the kind of the thoughts I had going in that specific build. Uh, I tried to make everything super, you know, public to y'all. 
uh, about my genuine thoughts on all the cards. Uh, I did mention Skaters Park in one of the <laughs> in the videos, uh, which is what I ended up playing. And yeah, I think in the deck profile I posted, it was the 202 pitch out with four hair candy, which I ended up going with. I did uncover a lot of you know stuff from testing going into the event, uh, which I will share. Uh, you all want to get home and um, collect my thoughts and everything. And But yeah, I'm going to bed. It's late. See you tomorrow. All right, yeah, so we are going back to the convention center to make day two, but just gonna hopefully get some games in with some friends. We'll see what fun things there are to do at the center. Man, they got the whole entrance or whatever blocked off. There's like a bouncer. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I just want some Starbucks, man. Uh, it's for something, something football, I think. I think it's the Chiefs. I think that's what that was, but I guess no Starbucks. Yeah, just, just pass someone that said my Starbucks plans are ruined. Is that something you can do? Can you reserve an entire Starbucks? I mean, sounds like sounds like fun to me. All right, we are chaos cubing. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I got. Uh, I I got past this as the last card and I accidentally completed the glide score line. I started going for control. I don't know, see what this does. I went 0-2 uh, at the cube because I play bad cards. I played against Jake Earhart last round. Yeah, it, the deck didn't work, so. I'm playing the base format. I don't wanna play this deck, but. These are, I bought all of these as damage. 100% damage deck. <laughs> I bought all of them at the cheapest rate, and they don't even look that bad. All right, we're in a we're in a pod right now. It's a standard pod. It's a standard Pokemon pod. Um, and uh, I I'm, I'm losing in the lore count. Wait, did you did you exert these? Yeah. No, oh, I, I requested to put or quest whatever. Wait, how many songs have you played? What? How many how many how many songs are in your discard? I'm not telling you. <laughs> I just checked your disc. Huh? I got, got no, wheeled no, too many no. times. Wow. So, yeah. We did purchase this guy uh, super sick. I kind of got upcharged on it, but um, there's never going to be a Yokohama Worlds probably for a while ever again. We also got Hadley, this uh, this little like EV back thing, uh, which is super dope as well. So, yeah. Uh, played in a side event. I played Lost Box Kyogre. Um, my guilty pleasure and uh, won the first two games and uh, played Lorcana with Noah <laughs> to determine the last prize ticket. He won our game of Lorcana. Uh, he stormed off and uh, so yeah, I bought two Scarlet Violet packs with uh, nothing really in them. Yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. It kind of felt, feels like a, kind of feels like a, I got short but sweet trip. The fact I didn't fly in until like super late Friday means I only really got one full day yesterday and just a little bit of today. I did get the cube today, which is awesome. Um, kind of forgot I did that. So day two is uh, closing up with uh, its Swiss rounds. So they have uh, six additional Swiss rounds today. And because I went six and three, I of course didn't make it. Yeah, I'm leaving with Noah now because he has to. Uh, get to driving back because it is a long drive for him, so he's gonna drive me off at the airport.